Good morning, Columbia Approach. Rans 91898. Remember, 898, eight, radar contact one mile south of the Columbia Downtown Airport. Maintain view of arms, shoot on course, George now. Roger radar contact, and we just got our ADSB hooked up. Are you getting the ADSB information? Okay, hey, sir, we are showing your ADSB information. Great, thank you, sir. You bet. And Georgetown traffic, RANS 91898 at 1300 feet, overhead midfield, entering a left downwind runway 23 at Georgetown. Georgetown traffic, but at uh, six time pop, it's three miles to the northwest, be crossing midfield for the downwind 23 Georgetown. Georgetown traffic 6194 Juliet inbound from the northwest, about five miles. Georgetown traffic, 91898 is a high wing RANS turning left base, 2-3 at Georgetown. Georgetown traffic, RANS 91898, short final, 2-3 at Georgetown.
think almost 40 airplanes here today. That's one of the best turnouts. This is a typical day in the Georgia town. Just saying, how this is typical. Oh, is it? <laughs> wow. Busy day. Before we get going too long, I want to recognize this gentleman out here who has been over the table. Gene's Baker. Baker. Thank you. Um, he came out here, and y'all know my judge on how well a breakfast is done is the grits. And the grits today were excellent. He said, you know, heavy cream helps. <laughs> So let's give Gene a hand. The Breakfast Club has been going on since 1938. It started in Orangeburg. Thomas Summers was looking for a reason to spend some father-daughter time with his little girl before church on Sunday morning. A lot of times people ask, a lot more people would come if you had it on Saturday. Well, it started as a before church activity for Mr. Summers and his daughter, or his wife sometimes. And they would go out, find a place to eat breakfast. It got around to some of his friends, all of whom had airplanes at the time, and they just said, well, tell us where you're going, we'll meet you there. is recognize a couple of people. Wendy Griffin is our secretary and she is the one who has taken it and since Ann Hawkins stopped doing it. She is responsible for the schedule, getting the breakfast club set up, contacting the folks, and she is doing an excellent job. I want to give her a hand. And Casey Tupper has been doing some research through the archives, I've been getting some mail from him recently on past presidents, places that we have met. Uh, the Breakfast Club used to have minutes in the South Carolina Aviation Association newsletters, and they don't do that anymore, but there's a big archives, and Casey's been diving into that and getting some background and some history on different places. So we used to have Breakfast Clubs in some of the small towns, we land on Main Street and back the airplanes up against the storefronts and go into the restaurants and eat and then take off on Main Street. And can't find anybody not to, anybody to let us do that anymore. <laughs> but. playful poke at the person who made the worst landing when they came to the breakfast club. And the procedure was the person who made the worst landing had to sign the ball, take it home with them, and bring it back to the next breakfast club. But between 38 and 46, they lost so many balls that the president started holding on to it. And the ball that Gerald had was supposedly one of the very first balls and the poor little thing was a shriveled grape or raisin of a ball. Had been through two airplane wrecks with Gerald. <laughs> uh, and if you have not signed the ball, don't ever let anybody know because that will be reason enough for you to sign it. The traveler? Yeah. That was a unique. 
I will. Why don't we get you to sign it for bringing this oh, beautiful yeah. picture? <laughs> 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 yeah. See, so we, and I've watched his landing. We saw him come in. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna say all right. Okay, good. Thank you. Number is a nine. I got it. Yeah. All right. Let me make sure. We're doing the drawing out here. All right. <laughs> no. First number's a nine. <laughs> Second number's an eight. Last number is a six. Who's got eight ninety six?
Thank you all for having us for the breakfast club this morning.